This is the 19th video we've made about a maker product, so not a new brand to the channel. In fact, they've been around in name since 2007 and they have put out some cracking lenses. However, this one I fear is a rebrand of one we've already looked at, or maybe that's a rebrand of this one. But anyway, let's look at it on its own merit. You never know. <laughs> yeah, let's crack on. have to say they are well packed. Simple of course, with a warranty there, the lens, a good old silica gel. Yeah, that's it. Well packed though. The lens itself. Now, first things first, yes, all this comparison to the very similar optically Seven Artisans lens. This is much nicer. It's a much nicer feel. Um, aperturing still declicked, cost saving exercise more than anything 28 to 22. A lot more to play with around the wider apertures, but there we go. One to one macro, of course, so 17 and a half centimeters closest focusing. Nice little scale there, and right on infinity there quite a throw for what it's worth. 11 elements in eight groups in this one. You got this little plastic cap there, but it's absolutely fine. Smooth enough aperturing movement. You can see there we've got a 49 mil filter thread. Now on the flip side, not a massive fan of these, but it's fine. It is what it is, decent. Metal mount. Now this claims to be waterproof and dustproof. Well, not this itself, maker. <laughs> dustproof and waterproof. I'm not really going to go while putting that to the test, especially what this is really for. Weighs 300 grams. Now it's 90 mil full frame equivalent with an angle of view of 26.6 degrees. Could be interesting for general photography too. So we should look at that as well as macro. Anyway, that's enough spec. Decent lens, feels okay. Honestly feels nicer than the Seven Artisans. Didn't think I'd be saying that, but yeah. Let's see how it fares though. There's a lot to like about the build and handling of this macro lens and a few things that are less than ideal. Focusing at more standard focal lengths is limited. There's plenty to play with at the macro end, of course. Yeah, but that textured manual focus ring is noticeably nicer to use than the other, let's say, version of this lens. The lens feels solid, well made. It could do with better caps all things considered cup your nut good job maker Overall, image quality is good. Sharpness in the center, wide open, not bad at all. The edges, not great. Even when you stop down, it's not such a big deal for a macro lens at this end of the market. But yeah, now most of this video demonstrates the macro potential, but other than the limited focusing past half a meter, the lens can be used for general photography too in decent conditions the image quality is good enough for that color rendering pretty decent not mind-blowing but more than usable as is contrast now vignetting is present but gone by f4 so to all intents and purposes not bad ghosting flaring both let's say negatives 
but not in macro shooting, of course. Now, chromatic aberration and diffraction is present wide open in normal shooting. Soon clears up when you stop down, though. Here's a little aperture stop down test, as we like to call it, so you can probably see the differences as we go through f2, 8, 4, 5, 6, 8, 11, 22. Yeah. Focus breathing on a lens like this isn't really that important. And as you can see, it's not a strength of this one. And that's perfectly fine for me. Of course, your needs might vary. So I've included these clips just so you can see what's what. It also gives us another chance to see what the bucker is like. And that for me is, yeah, a positive characteristic of this lens. Let us know what you think. The big question then is, is she worth it? Well, it's about $219.99 on Amazon at the moment, which is a touch more than the very nearest equivalent from Seven Artisans, which other than some cosmetic differences is arguably the same. Maybe you prefer Maker as a brand, and that's cool. Pergia also have a 60mm f2.8, but that has two times magnification, is heavier, but it's roughly the same price, arguably the better buy for most of us. On its own merits though, this lens from Maker is a decent little buy. Not mind-blowing, but a good one if you're just getting into macro and want a bit more than extension rings, but you're not ready to spend almost double on something like the Laowa 65mm or go to full hug. Is that the phrase? You know, full distance and get a Fujifilm 80mm macro or something like that. Let us know if you've tried this one and what you want to see next from Maker. Yeah, take it easy.